In the meantime, the Nigerian Senate has resumed plenary after six weeks of recess in the newly renovated Hallowed Chamber, opened over two years after the reconstruction began. Shortly after the regular announcement by the President of the Senate, Gatswila Pabio, a heated argument ensued between some ranking members over seating arrangement. Three senators engaged in heated argument, Senator Danjuma Goje, who is a four-time ranking senator representing Gombe Central, and uh, Sahabi Yao, senator representing Zamfara North, expressed displeasure over the back seats assigned to them and complained to the majority leader, Senator Okwayami Bamidele. According to the standing rules of the upper legislative chamber, senators sit according to ranking, but the arrangement their grieved senators met fell short of their expectations. The president of the Senate doused tension after a slightly prolonged verbal engagement with Bamidele, Yao and Goje at the center. He called on their grieved senators to approach the chair to diffuse this, the anger, after which he read his welcome address. Minutes afterwards, plenary was dissolved into an executive session. Earlier in his welcome back speech, the Senate President asked senators to set aside their personal differences and work together to achieve good governance in the interest of the country. We must all collectively across party lines support the renewed hope agenda of Mr. President. I'm very confident that as senators, we are making a difference and we can even make more difference. We have been entrusted with an important role. And now is the time for courageous actions and strategies to drive this role. Together, let us implement the culture of care and integrated approach to combat everything that is wrong with our nation, from poverty to the restoration of the dignity of the, of the downtrodden and the protection of our precious natural resources. In conclusion, let us approach the work ahead with unwavering determination and a deep sense of responsibility. Once again, let us be reminded that the Nigerian people have placed their trust in us, and it is our duty to honor that trust by working tirelessly for their well-being and the progress of our nation.